Phoebe, how you going? Hi. Howdy, Nick. Cow. Polio. Polio encephalo Malaysia. So, thigh, my name's bacteria in a rumen. That's her inside her guts there. Eating up all of the uh, thymin. Thymin's important for brain function. Here we have some thymin. Thymin's a vitamin. What vitamin is it? Do you know? Couldn't tell you. <laughs> vitamin B1, interestingly enough. There you go. There you, go. you know what B12 is? Yes. Cool. Yeah. So, what I was going to show Nick is that. See, he's got that kind of stare you into space look. Um, do you want to just try to hold that head just there in front of me? See if we can get the insects as here. So the jugular groove comes from the back of the from the back of their hip, back of their shoulder, sorry. Cowboy. Let's see this groove right here. And the easiest way to feel it is to hold off with your hand, and then you can feel the jugular come up under your hand. So come over like I am, Nick, from this side, and stick that into the groove, and that'll fill. And you can feel the you can feel the, the jugular right under my thumb. Feel my thumb is how I'm feeling. I'm bouncing it here, and it's bouncing under my thumb. Yeah. Try that. So go like that. I'm just gonna try to get up. Just put your weight onto it with your like that with your hand. And so it's going down into the like a karate chop, like this. Because that means you're feeling that there's a groove there. And that way, even if you're off, you're going to be in the groove. And then that'll, that vein will fill. It's right under my thumb, right there. So you, then you use that thumb to feel. And then tap there, and you can feel that. It feels like a like a glistening hose laying under the skin. When I say glistening, it just feels smooth. And that's because the, the, the veins and arteries have got a coating on them. So that if they get attacked by something, they're unlikely to... A tooth's not going to go through it. Yeah. Like it's pretty common for people bringing dogs to the clinic and go, oh, he's so lucky, look, there's his jugular. But it's really hard to cut through the jugular. Yeah. And you gotta really put a lot of effort into it. Well, that's it there. Yeah, so then what I'll do is, got my syringe of goodies, and I'll come in here, I'd like hold off, and then I can feel that jugular under my thumb. Call him like, yay, don't jump. Back, make sure it's still blood. Pull back, it's all blood. You know, you're in the right spot. So, for IV, for IV stuff, so your allomycin 100, you can give that IV. Um, you can give this IV. You can give your dexamethasone, mm -hmm. dexamethasone mm -hmm. short acting stuff. And so, you can draw up syringes, and if you feel comfortable doing it, if you give an IV, it just gets in a lot quicker than if you give it in the neck. Mm -hmm. And with a bad polio case, I might give some IV and then another lot into the muscle. So I've got another syringe right here. 